Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, I got the little Citroen rally car out here today. And I, like I said during the initial review, I wanted to do a follow-up video, do some top speed runs on 2 and 3S. Now I have the, the factory included 2S lithium ion pack inside here, along with my Cyclus Plus GPS reader, all mounted inside of the car. I'll show you with the 3S I'm gonna use here. I have this DRC 3S pack, it does fit sort of in there with the Velcro straps. It kind of has to go diagonal, but it'll fit in there because this does have the capability to do 3S as well as 2S. And they did give you that fan, and I have that fan also mounted to the ESC to help keep the ESC cool, especially for the 3S because that's where you really want to make sure that it's properly cooled. So let's get it down here, and let's see what kind of top speed that we get on the factory 2S. Now this has a gyro, so that'll help kind of keep it you know, a little bit uh, under control, hopefully. My daughter's out here with her electric motorcycle. That's what you see her riding around. It move, I mean, that moves really well on 2S. You gonna be careful? The gyro really helps because I felt like when I was driving that J that uh, SYC, the, the on-road race car, the blue and orange one, that that thing felt like it was uh, a little bit more difficult to control than this car on 2S. And both cars, of course, brushless. So this one just really does well. One more pass here. Let's bring it around. I just got two body clips on here so I can get it off a little quicker. Let's pull those off. Let's see what kind of speed we get here in miles per hour. I'll be sure to put a conversion here for everybody else in the world for kilometers per hour. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. And it looks like we got 27.4. I figured whenever I remember doing the initial review, I thought it looked like it was somewhere in that 25 to 30 mile per hour range. I think I said that, but. Yeah, not bad at all on 2S. Let's go ahead and pause the video, get the 3S in here, and see what kind of top speed we get in 3S. I'll be right back. All right, got the 3S in here. Let's see what kind of top speed we get in 3S. And do make sure that you do have your controller turned all the way to 100%, of course, when you want to go to top speed, and not it's set at 70%, which is the middle. Whoa, that really books. This car is just so, it's under such great control. Like, you don't feel like you're, Wow, that is really moving. So I don't want to like, you know, risk rolling it, but that low center of gravity, it shouldn't roll as easy. Just gonna ease it up. And you don't, I mean, you can get going on this one pretty quick without having to ease it in as much as some of these other cars. Woo, boy, that really moves. That is awesome. This thing absolutely flies on 3S. All right, that is awesome. I'm just gonna ease it on over here. Let's see what kind of top speed we got on 3S. Boy, I tell you, that gyro just helps so much. Just in the design of the car in general, it's just really, it's really easy to control. It doesn't feel like you're squirrely like some of these other vehicles do. But there's no doubt that gyro is helping out quite a bit. Let's see what kind of top speed we get on 3S here. 40. 0.5 miles per hour, 40 miles an hour, man. I have no, I don't think doing any more passes is gonna make a difference because we got some really good long runs there. So it shouldn't increase anymore. That's just great, 40 miles an hour and just super stable. So if you're interested in this car, I man, definitely consider the 3S if you wanna do some, you know, speed driving like this. The 2S is still really quick at uh, the speeds we got there in the uh, mid 20s. So. 2S is fine for your everyday, just riding around, but this is mostly on-road. They do say it's off-road, you know, being that it's a rally car, but, you know, it's not really gonna do well in like trying to go through grass and stuff. It's mostly meant to be on dirt, packed dirt or pavement. So, as you see, 3S was awesome, 40 miles an hour. All right, so hopefully I had the conversions up there as well for kilometers per hour. I don't know what that is offhand, but yeah, this is super good. All right, so if you're interested in this, I'll have a purchase link down in the video description and the pinned comment to Amazon. 
or uh, Speedy Wheels was kind enough to send this out to me because this is, of course, an MJX car, HyperGo rally car, but they are one of the uh, companies that does sell this on Amazon. So if you're interested in picking this up, check the purchase link. It'll help support the channel, but it won't cost you a cent extra if you use that link. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. While you're at it, click the bell. We get notified when I upload new videos. And as always, guys, have an awesome day.